start the car always check that the pit limiter is on and let's go hey noble mate no homo <laughs> uh blue flag so someone is coming yeah let's break a little bit earlier always check you know your mirrors if you have them or your radar or the whatever it's always a good thing and let's go so already you can see even with cold tires oh damn i did a, i did an error so let's go back Fuck. Ah, sorry oops so let's go back sorry about that completely missed the immersion and everything very important since we're having um limited tire sets you need to get back to tire set one because we want to use the same tire set again and again and again also because you know we it will give us a situation of the uh of the wear and you can see already that it's wearing a bit more at the rear we're still at 2.9 which means we are still at the high grip range I think the you get out of the um, uh, of the high uh, grip range when you go under 2.9, 2.85. Those are the millimeters in depth. So less depth you have, it means your tire is more more, more wear out. You know. So right now we we went from three millimeters fresh tire to 2.9 at the back at 2.92 at the front. And uh, it's not too big of a gap, but we know that the rears uh, is going to, you know, wear out before the front, so the car will be a little bit more oversteery on the next two of uh, two laps, maybe. So uh, we need to, you know, drive for more than two laps. We're gonna do four or five laps now. All right, so we have all our, our, our stuff, and let's go. You can see. Again, here uh, on the um, on the tire uh, hood that we have dry one. You can see dry one, which means we have still the first tire set. All right, so let's go. Look behind, no problem. Clear to clear to go. Let's get our tires. Heat up first. So as I said now we're gonna do at least four or five laps. So that we can wear out the tires and see how it's going. Um, I think I will leave the ABS to four, level four right now. And see from there on what we're gonna do. Again, makes no sense to do this kind of work if you are not used to uh, driving on the, on the circuit. You know, you, you have to have some experience on the circuit, you have to know your uh, reference points. I repeat, reference points is the most important part in driving in a circuit. 80% of your lap time is reference points. If you're not having reference points for every little thing, then you're doing it wrong guys you really need to get your reference points as good as possible there are there are situations where we don't have any reference points like for example uh the braking for the last third year uh, but you know take as much reference points as you can study on board uh, replace on the youtube on real cars because pretty much are the same on simulators whatever i mean they're out there Go find them, do us a research and start them or look here, whatever I do. Uh, or look, you know, there are plenty of drivers that, that are much faster than me and more, more uh, have more practice and uh, are better. So go, go and watch them. I can feel my braking zones are a little bit long and uh, it seems like um, especially at the initial uh, braking the car doesn't stop so fast so that is something that I have to you know take a note and check if I can improve uh, my uh, 
brake ducts because probably uh, the uh, the brakes are not in temperature when I'm arriving from the not so long but long enough straight finish straight. Sì, va benissimo Enrico, capisco che non lo facciamo in italiano, però che faccio? Lo faccio in greco visto che sono greco? Dai, basta con questa storia, insomma. So, sorry for that guys, but we have some guys that I keep wanting, you know, that they do everything in their language. So what I have to do, I have to learn all the languages of the of the earth. It's just not possible, I mean. It it becomes, you know, tiresome after after uh, the the 11th or the end time that they are asking you for that. Anyway, Let's move on. So, you know, you see already, I'm not really driving very well, but I'm already at the same lap times as before. Which means that probably the car reacts better for me right now. That's good. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that slow even if, you know, that was just uh, a norm, I, I mean, a not, not very careful lap. Okay, let's try to see what is going on. By the way, the fact that the tires are, are getting, you know, more worn out. Oops, had some. Uh, also means that you should expect a little bit of, you know, to, to, to the car to get slower. So if you're doing similar lap times than before or even improving, it means that uh, your driving and the setup helps you to improve, which is very good. Yeah, I'm already getting better, so... So, let's start analyzing the, the car behavior. So... I can feel that the, the front end, so the changes we, we did are already pretty good. Uh, the front end bites better. But there is some instability. I don't know what's going on. So maybe I should check again my tire pressures. Or the changes also on the right height and the balance of the car change also the tire pressure. So every time you go out, you have to check and see what's going on with your tire pressures. You can see already on the tire hood that my tire pressures are not so balanced anymore. At the front they are pretty good, although a bit too high but they are balanced left and right. At the rear, not so much. So we'll have to check that and see what we did wrong. Well, for sure the, the front end is much better than before. The rear helps me to, you know, turn the corner out. Yeah. Let's keep lapping. Let's do a, a couple of laps more and see what's going on. Oh, I ride way too fast here. My bad. Yeah. Let's see what's going on on the chat. Because I don't have the chat anymore here. I don't know what's going on with the uh, uh, with this 
streaming program, but as long as you guys can see everything clearly, then we're fine. Let's also concentrate a little bit and do a decent lap. So now I have a tiny bit of power oversteer. Uh, obviously I'm not driving very well, but it's also the fact that, you know, I'm going, uh, even though I'm going to the, uh, to the accelerator uh, with some ease, whoops, I still have some, I can, I can hear the, uh, the traction control also, see also here if I, whoops, I have some power oversteer. So I would like to, to fix that, I would like some extra traction if possible without having, you know, the front end uh, going wide. So I need some extra traction but keep the balance of the car as it is now because I'm, I'm happy with that. See, I'm, I'm driving badly and I'm still doing the same lap times as before, so it means, you know, it's a good thing for now. Yeah, I'm doing so many errors here. Uh, don't look at my um, ratings here, guys, because as usual, they are dev ratings. We are doing tests, we're doing lots of stuff, so they keep changing. Just forget them. I'm trying also different gears, so for example here I did all, all in third gear to see how it's going. Don't really like it. Alright, so the main issue I see with my temperatures and my pressures on the tires is practically the, uh, the, rear, the rear right. So I will go and change that, but let's, let me understand what else is not going so well. So, as I said, I'm feeling this uh, power oversteer. When I'm go hard on the on the power, I have uh, a little bit of oversteer. Another thing that you guys, okay, you mean, okay, what does it mean I feel oversteer? Is it enough? Is it less than enough? What that means? So here's what I usually do, and what I also uh, uh, advise you to do. So when you are on the apex of, of, uh, of the turn, like here, uh, to have a good, a well-mannered car, a good uh, handling balance, you want to uh, release uh, the accelerator, right? Uh, or even touch a tiny bit the brake pedal, and you want the nose to go in, but not too much. Uh, the uh, the closing of the of the racing line that happens in that situation, so the nose goes goes in like that, should be gentle, and it shouldn't cause you too much trouble. You know, to to control it. If it causes you too much trouble, then it means that you know the car is doing stuff that you cannot handle. So again, as I said, it's not. It doesn't mean that the car is not fast. Uh, it means that this setup is not good for you for your. Uh, reflexes for your driving style for whatever so this thing right here is not good you know uh, the same if you go on the accelerator if you go on the accelerator you go you want the car to stabilize but not oversteer too much and then you want if you keep you know pushing on the accelerator you want the car to have a tiny bit of uh, of uh, oversteer power oversteer but not too much you know so you want the car to change its habits depending on what you do on the pedals while you are on the limit of the apex of, uh, of, uh, of, the, of the turn. But you need to understand that if you do it, uh, if the car uh, reacts way too abruptly, then something is wrong with the setup that you have for your driving style and the situation where you are. So this is how you, you do the setup. You go on the apex, you leave it, for example, costing, and if the car costs without going, you know, into oversteer, this is good. If it costs with, without going into understeer, it's, it's good. Uh, if it does it too much, and you have to control it badly, then you need to, you know, do something with the setup. 
The same again on, on the Apex. Uh, you go on the accelerator. If it understeer too much, you need to do something. If it oversteer too much, you need to do something. You have to find uh, the correct compromise that you see. You can control the tendency of the car to, to do whatever you ask him to do. So this is your first hint that you know something is is not correct. So now I'm gonna do go into the uh, into the pits and correct the the pressures and see also how we are in terms of uh, tire um, tire wear. Also, as I said, I have a little bit of power oversteer now. I would like to fix that if it's possible. So let's see. So let me go into the pits. Again, very good uh, you know, occasion to learn how to pit. Always do that before a race. If you go to a truck, this is where I brake and limiter and we're in. So we are at 27.7, 27.8, pretty good at the front, 27.4, 28.2, so we're a little bit too high at the rear right. Already at 28.0, so stop here and go back to the garage. Alright, so let's go back to the garage and uh, first thing to do is fix this one so we were 28.3 right so let's go down by one psi at 26.3 and then raise it by one let's say and stay here the aero balance was pretty good i'd like that on some cars you need to do more on some cars we need to do less but it was pretty good so what i'd like to do now um So, ah yeah, the ducts, right, so I said that the, the brake ducts, probably I had the braking a little bit not so good as I wanted, so let's go down, down a click, usually you can, do, you can go down two clicks on the rear because, you know, the rear has less braking power, so less friction, so it needs less air, uh, they are different ducts also, so the number two brake ducts at the rear isn't the same as the number two brake ducts at the front, so you need to find out what. G generally, 3 and 2 is good enough. Let's go back to mechanical grip. So, as I said, I would like the car to be more, you know, uh, more traction. So, let's... We also have in this uh, circuit lots of curbs. So, let's see what we can do. Let's try to um, make the car softer. So, I will make the car softer at the rear. Uh, 120, just one click. 151 but I'll do two clicks at the front no it's too much because you see it goes down way too much so just one click at the rear I'm gonna click at the front and go down all together uh, here's another thing you can do another thing you can do is uh, play with the differential the preload of the differential works like that um, the, the locking of the differential is fixed. You cannot change that because the homologation of the cars in GT3 uh, asks for a fixed differential locking in power and costing. But what you can do is change the prolog. And the prolog means that until the difference in torque between left and right exceeds the number that you have here, uh, until that moment, the, the differential is completely locked. When it exceeds, then it starts moving and starts locking on the lock percentage that it has uh, from, from the clutches and, and gears in it. So until that point, uh, the differential is completely locked. So what it means? Uh, it means that um, if I lower the preload here, let's put it to 100. And here's what's going to happen. In acceleration, uh, the, the two tires will start, you know, getting torque from the engine. Uh, at some point, the inner one will want to spin more because it has less grip. And 
when the difference between the two of them in torque exceeds the 100 newton meters then it will open and go to the locking percentage whatever that is from the actual differential so at it initially it will you know make the tires spin together and then opens up to go to the other uh, locking percentage so now it will open sooner because i've lowered the preload before that it would it would need a difference of 170 newton meters now it will need a difference of 100 so it will spin together and then open earlier which means that my inner tire will spin earlier this will lose me a little bit of you know motion uh, forward motion but it will make the car more stable uh, at, at, um, at especially at, at high speeds or uh, at low speeds too uh, because because instead of you know turning with the right and making also turning with the ex external wheel and making also the external wheel uh, sliding which means oversteer it will dissipate some of the power the torque of the engine on the internal which doesn't have any way much power and leave hopefully the external wheel with still lateral grip and that will make me you know control the car a little bit more all right so uh, everything good on the chart all right so let's go oops watch it again tire set number one uh, by the way we can check again our uh, tire work 279 to 75 here and uh, 274 still a decent difference between them not not too much so we're going we're going pretty well uh, so all right let's try it car is uh, softer let's see what happens <laughs> 